Pat, obviously we didn't come here expecting the result, uh, but what was your thoughts on the match? I thought, uh, well, we expected a reaction from last week, I suppose, um, and I'm, I'm really proud of the way the players reacted from, obviously it was difficult for the players last week, I'm kind of just kind of just in the door, putting a team together, uh, not had any chance to work with the players on the training pitch, um, so it was, it was difficult last week, but on today's performance, we, we got a really good reaction, we, we worked a little bit of an, an attacking shape on Tuesday night, worked on our defensive shape on Thursday night. We knew that Celtic would have a lot of the ball. Um, I thought, you know, you could see the, the quality of player that they've got. But I was really pleased with the, the work rate, the attitude and, and, and the shape that the boys um, the boys held. Uh, and uh, I think going forward, that's that's a kind of minimum level of expectation, that, that, that kind of attitude and application to the game. It's a real test and concentration. Uh, do you feel we managed to cope with that really well? Yeah, I think um, in the first half, obviously, the uh, I thought I thought we were kind of just finding our feet. There was obviously a bit of nervousness around. There's a bit of nervousness around, you know, getting through the first five, ten minutes because of kind of what happened in the, in the previous week. But I thought we grew into the game, and especially grew into the, as, as the half wore on in the first half, we had a couple of, a couple of half good chances. We had a good chance with Naya in the first half, and we had another couple of half chances. Obviously, Celtic carried a threat. Um, but we limited them in the, in the first period of the, of the first half to kind of longer range shots. Um, but as the half went on, they, you know, they, they were, you know, they started to get a few shots. But I thought Ryan uh, did really well in goals with, with what he had to do. He was nice and tidy. Um, but yeah, generally pretty pleased with that first half performance. Second half, we spoke to the boys at half time and made a couple of adaptions just in terms of how we wanted to set up. And I thought the first kind of 15, 20 minutes of the second half, we held a good shape, but we also held a, a bit of a, a you know a threat on the on the counter attack. Um, and then we did get in, we worked at a few areas um, going forward, and, and, and uh, obviously we get the we got we got a couple of chances, and then we get the penalty, gets you back to one one. Um, but then obviously as 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 they bring on fresh, young, fit, full time players, um, it becomes difficult for the boys because they've put an absolute shift in it. But I thought the subs for us that came on. Obviously, they listened in um, to the to the shape and what that we did worked on through the week, and they, 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 they slotted in fine. So I'm really pleased with a lot of the performances today. Obviously, you're quite short on players with injuries and suspensions. Um, how was that trying to fit our side together? Well, it, you know, we're, we're missing some big players, experienced players for us. <clears throat> um, some, you know, like Aaron came in today, his first start for a number of weeks, but I thought he did really well. Um, so sometimes that gives boys opportunities, and it's up to them to take take the opportunity. Uh, but generally, I was pleased with with the, you know, as I say, the overall um, attitude of the players. If we can get our better players and our more experienced players on the pitch, it gives us a better chance to play. But certainly, you can't knock the, the attitude and application of the players today. You think it'd be a similar sort of test next week then? I think so. I think um, you know Celtic and Rangers are trying to kind of finish above each other in the league. There's still got chances to kind of you know. Finish as high up as league as they want, so they, they won't be taking the foot off the gas. Plus, you know these boys are can playing for their livelihoods as well, so they will definitely, um, you know, be up for it. But so too will our boys in the back of today, and hopefully that gives a little bit of confidence in what the kind of track work we're trying to get into them. Um, but I fully expect a kind of similar performance uh, from Rangers next week as the Celtic put on today. Pat, cheers. cheers.